Mario 3 DS was the first game in the series to add in retro tracks. Besides Super Circuit, but that only made Super Nintendo tracks, so I'm not going to be counting it. And it's actually not called retro tracks. But anyways, in my opinion, the retro tracks are somewhat good in the game, sometimes not. So I wanted to do this video where I'm going to be comparing the remakes to the original tracks. So let's get started. Starting with SNES Retro Tracks, here's the first one, Mario Circle 1. I think that the Retro Track remake is better because it's not flat like the original. So it's basically just like 3 year fight and the color is better demonstrated and overall feels better to play than the original. Next is Donut Plains 1. And the remake certainly does a lot right with this remake. Like Mario Circle 1 is basically the same but 3 year fight and doesn't really have any differences besides the orange pipes not being in one spot and the pipes and the spots that do have the pipes pipes have a different color of green compared to the old and the Super Nintendo one. So within the track itself, there's only one difference that I saw. Next is Cool Beach 2. Basically the same thing as the last two Retro Tracks, but it looks better and it's in 3D. I couldn't really find any differences at all. Our final SNES Retro Track is Choco Island 2. It's virtually the same thing as the original, but has brighter colors and a large section where you drive in a lot of chocolate. It doesn't make your drive go really slow like the original made you. <laughs> On to N64 tracks, our first one is Moo Moo Farm. And like the original, uh, sure I'm sure you can guess, it just has lighter uh, textures than the original, but I still find the original better, mainly because in the end, with these Monty Moles, they're not, there's not as much as there was in the original version in the remake. So there's, 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 I'm struggling to read the script right now. What I'm saying is there's less Monty Moles there. And our next N64 track is Property Snowland. <clears throat> I didn't really like this track in the original, in the original, and the remake isn't any better. I feel like the track is honestly a little sized down and there's really nothing memorable in both of the versions. I do think that the original is better because the overall flow feels better in general. Next we have Choco Mountain and I basically have the same opinion like the flow isn't as good as on the N64 and they removed these fences which is kind of annoying when you're playing on 150cc and you get knocked off to the bottom by those boulders that are coming up. And our final N64 track is Banshee Boardwalk. My least favorite Mario Kart 64 track. When you play the original on 150cc, this track is just annoying to deal with. It's really a nuisance. And I think that the remake looks better where you can actually see the water and it for once actually has a better flow. A GBA territory, we're starting out with Peach Circuit. It's virtually the same thing as the original, but it's 3Dified and has better shades of colors, and it's a little bit darker, which actually makes more sense when you look at it. Next is next GBA course, Bowser Castle 2. This one actually looks kind of different, but it's very, it's very similar still though. It's remake in some time around, you can actually tell there's a big difference. And now there's a lot of speed boosts when the original had none. And the graphics of course better, and like Peach Circuit's a little bit darker. And trust me, there's a lot of speed boosts and that really adds to how the flow is better. My third GBA course is Luigi Circuit. Oh yeah, I definitely don't think that the rating effect is as strong as in the original in the GBA. It of course looks better and has a better flow to it. My final Game Boy Advance course is Sky Garden. This track adds more ramps and speed boosts like Badge Castle 2 that the original didn't have. The flow is unsurprisingly better in my opinion and the original isn't as good but the remake is definitely better. My final collection of retro tracks is the GameCube retro tracks. So to start off, first we have Luigi Circuit. Yeah, back then Nintendo used to do a lot of Luigi Circuits. So this Luigi Circuit 
in the remake, it's really sized a lot bigger than the original. And it takes way too long to finish. And I'm a fan of the original, but not so much of this remake because it takes longer. It's sized up larger. It doesn't even look as good as the original, which is surprising because Double Dash came out before. But it is a handheld title, so I guess I'll let it slide. But I don't really like this remake that much, and I don't always have fun playing it. Next is Baby Park, my least favorite retro track of all time. Not Mario Kart 8. And uh, I have my reasons. You know how the original had seven laps because it was a short oval track? Yeah, this track doesn't even have seven laps like the original. It's now five, and like the Luigi Circuit, it's spaced out larger, and it's not, not even a mayhem like the original, since the lack of ex exciting items that Double Dash has, in this track, it doesn't have them, so. This is really like the worst retro track that we've even talked about here, so trust me, the original, it's freaking amazing, it's so fun, but this one, retro track, it's, it's my least favorite, I don't really like it. <coughs> Our third, GameCube Retro Track is Mushroom Bridge. This remake removes every single shortcut, except like one, but that shortcut doesn't even help you that much. There's also not as many trucks and cars around, and it's kind of scale larger. Kinda. It's not that much scale larger, but it's not as fun as the original. And my final double dash track is Yoshi Circuit. This remake adds some more piranha plants on the grass than the original track didn't have. But still, that doesn't really add or mean much because it's still a good track. It's just the fault Double Dash was really what made the tracks fun, and this remake doesn't really have it at all. Alright guys, so I'm kinda of running out of ideas. And my in my video ideas slot in my notes, I have too many top tens. So I will try to not spam them. And yes, I'm gonna be doing this with every Mario Kart game that has retro tracks instead of just not tour. So next up, it should be Mario Kart Wii, because it did get that yesterday, and I already have unlocked every cup, because I'm just that amazing at the game. 